Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is bout number 13, which is on the 63 and a half kilo national amateur vinyl. Introducing your boxers, and firstly, boxing out of the red collar, wearing white and gold with red vest, and hailing from White Hart Lane, give it up for Super Cam, Cameron McKay! And across the ring is opponent boxing out of the blue corner. We're in the green and gold of Repton Boxing Club. Give it up for Giorgio Vizioli. Your referee, Mr. Paul Rosendale. Welcome back to the Virtue Motors Arena for the second half of our NAC 2023 finals. First up we have Cameron McKay versus Giorgio Vizioli in the under 63 and a half kilogram championship final. Super Cam, Cameron McKay in the red and Vizioli, Giorgio Vizioli in the green with the blue gloves. And here we go, immediately underway. Giorgio Vizioli beating Amali Davis last week on his birthday weekend to secure his place in the final today. Big flurries from the pair of them here. Very technical fight we've seen so far though. Lots of feints from Supercam. Nice shot as he left the inside there from McKay. Is he only ducking and rolling? Escaping danger very, very well. McKay just whipping some shots into the body there. Trying to get himself out of that tangle. The referee steps in. But again, fast paced bout from the off. And this is looking to be another great bout in the NAC finals. Some beautiful roll out of danger there on McKay's part as well. Been boxing for four years up to this point. Compared to Vizioli, six years. Giorgio started when he was eight years old in kickboxing and later switched to boxing because of more avenues to make a career and money. His biggest achievements include winning the NECs at 60 kilograms and winning the Tri Nations in 2022 as well. He's also a national and international champion in the sport of kickboxing before moving over to the sweet science and you can see it on display here being elusive to escape the, the threats of McKay. McKay is studying sports business management at the University of Hertfordshire and made it onto the GB squad last year. And his idol is his coach, uh, Chris Hall. He's won three national titles himself. So he's under a very good tutelage underneath that learning tree there in his corner. Yeah, the even contest here as the final 10 seconds come underway. I don't like to be the judge of this one. Very close. Oh, but he wobbled him. Or was that a slip? I'm not sure what that was. Well, styles certainly make fights, don't they? Absolutely.
Carl Rosendale getting us going once again in this second round. Second of three if we need them. Three minutes on the clock. We go again. Fiery start, just like we did in the opening round. Both boxers trying to assert themselves in the second round, find their own rhythm. It's just getting a bit messy there on the inside. But Vizioli just landing a couple of really clean shots just there. Cameron on the hunt though is Cameron McKay. He is looking for something. He's looking for that moment to turn the fight on its head. Might just need to pick his lead hand up a touch there to avoid him getting caught on the way in. Yeah, quite a loose and low guard from, from both fighters here, from both boxers. Beautiful attack into the body there from McKay. Shielded by Vizioli though, but still. Vizioli just switching direction quickly to keep his uh, opponent switched on. Guessing what way he's going to go. He just makes those minor adjustments with his feet and comes in with his straight shots to set the other hand up. Yep. He's doing, he's working that really well at the moment. And a very nice left hand just caught him then. Caught Giorgio Vizioli on his way to our right, but he answered back. And the two are definitely given as good as they're getting anyway. Halfway through the second round now, nearly a minute left of the contest of this second stanza. McKay's corner just urging him to let his hands go. Certainly needs to land a few more scoring punches in this round. The warning to McKay for lowering his opponent there. So trying to offer a response back here but just coming up short. Very active though. Is he only just finding his jab and moving off at his angles? It's working well for him. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to see them work on the inside a little bit. Been hunted, been chased down by McKay, but McKay isn't able to land anything at the minute, nothing substantial. It's with very limited success. to be a judge on a day like this and here we go the third and final round the final three minutes 180 seconds to settle the fight McKay is just out of range with those shots Vizioli is just able to stay stay with him although he's getting through there yeah, he broke through really with working a few punches into there. yeah Definitely needs to start getting his feet in a little bit more, McKay, to land those shots. He's very busy. Yeah, he's showcasing some really funky footwork, but he's not doing anything substantial with it. 
he's getting a lot of uh, advice from his corner to try and be more active, try and make his shots count. But Fizioli just remaining very elusive and hard to hit at the minute. Fizioli's got good punch economy here. He's, he's really sort of picking his shots well. Most of what he throws lands. So after a busy start to the bout, he's really settled and he's, he's really made this bout his own. Yeah, he's found his form in this bout. Has Vizioli maybe on course to a decision victory? Halfway through the round now, one minute 30 gone, one minute 30 to go. These rounds go by so quickly. Yeah, it's hard to uh, really stamp your authority if you are behind and try and get back into the fight in these uh, three three-minute rounds. Between the palm of your hands one second and far away from you the next. There's McKay finding out here. Yeah. He's got the right idea, McKay, just keeping that head moving, keeping that head moving, trying to get in from behind his jab, but Vizioli's just keeping him out of range and getting off with his own punches. Nice inside body work, trying to, trying to score, essentially, is McKay. But to no avail, really. <coughs> oh, and he eats a nice right hand there. He's just picking him off yeah. with his with his straight shots. He's boxing. He's got the right tactics here, Vizioli. He's just nice. picking him off. Nice work on the inside there. Yeah, his pivots and his footwork and his angles and everything. And there's the cappers for the last 10 seconds. A well hard for third and final round there over the course of three three minute rounds. Giorgio Vizioli, he picks 